Security is expected to be very tight at public New Year's Eve celebrations around the world. In the U.S., heavily armed police and counterterrorism officers will be protecting revelers on the ground and from rooftops in many cities following the terror attacks earlier this year in New York and the mass shooting in Las Vegas. A similar story is playing out in Europe following a series of terror attacks targeting large gatherings in Britain and France this year. Barry Peterson is in London with the latest. Barry, good morning. The concern about terrorism has not dampened enthusiasm here in London, where 100,000 people have bought tickets to a sold-out fireworks display to be held here on the banks of the Thames. London was hard hit this year. In March, a terrorist drove down Westminster Bridge, hitting pedestrians, then stabbed a police officer. The terrorist and five others died. In June, three terrorists staged a similar vehicle attack on London Bridge. Eight died, and the three terrorists were shot to death. But as the city gets ready for tomorrow night's events, London police say they are ready. Nick Aldworth is spokesperson for the Metropolitan Police Service. We are maintaining a proportionate response to what we see the threat to be. Paris, the city of light, is dressed up for the holiday. But France is also on edge after a series of attacks over the last three years that have killed some 230 people. Tourists are now accustomed to armed guards at popular attractions, and there will be a lot more Sunday night. The city's police chief outlined the show of force. The measure will be based on a strong mobilization, he said, adding that 10,000 police and first responders will be on duty. Police in Berlin are bracing for hundreds of thousands out on what's called the Party Mile. Crowds are a challenge to police, says John Miller, New York's Deputy Commissioner for Intelligence and Terrorism. What you're looking for is to, is to do what people expect, but also uh, do what your adversary might not expect. The idea is to have enough of a visual deterrent so people look at this and say it's a hard target. But the other idea is to have enough tools in place so if anything happens, uh, you reduce that time and you reduce that impact to the bare minimum. In London, there will be security you can see, like armed police and these barriers against any vehicles. And security you cannot see. The city has thousands of cameras, and there will be undercover police mingling with the crowds to protect any bystanders and attack any terrorist. Barry Peterson in London, thank you.